Hey everybody, it's Deb from D&D Art Gallery. Today I'm going to attempt um, a bloom, the bloom technique, and I'm just going to use a couple of uh, four by four ceramic tiles. And let me go over my paint first. Um, my base coat is just regular uh, house white, and I'm using Easy Care Ultra Premium. It's just from a local hardware store uh, where I live. And then um, mixed with the colors today, I have one part of the Min Wax Polycrylic and three parts of Sherwin-Williams Interior and Exterior High Gloss Ultra Deep Base. And that makes the pouring medium. And then I added about three parts of that to one part paint. So let's go over my paints. Um, I got some new Arteza paints, kind of excited about it. Um, I have Arteza Pearl Rose, very pretty color. I have Arteza Pearl Electric Blue. These are all pearl, pearl paints from Arteza that I'm using today. And Arteza Pearl Lime Green gives a very nice shimmer. The other paints I'm using are Liquitex Basics Quinacridone Magenta, Liquitex Basics Turquoise Blue, and my last color is um, a mica powder, a Pearl X mica powder, and it is copper. So that was again Mark's uh, mix three parts pouring medium to one part paint, even the mica powder. And then for my topper, I used three parts of Floetrol to one part of the Amsterdam ti titanium white. And then I did put about three or four drops of the Minwax pre stain wood conditioner in with that. And that again is my topper. So let's get started. I'm just gonna put down my base coat first. And as you can see, I've been practicing here today a little bit before I decided to do a video on it till I felt comfortable enough with the results. I do have my Lazy Susan out. Okay, there's my base coat. And now I'll put my paints down. This is the turquoise blue. magenta and I'm not sure I'll use all the colors but I might use some in this one and some different ones in the other one and this is that pearl rose from Arteza and let's use some of the, the greenish colors so very pretty from Arteza, these pearls, pearl colors. And let's use the uh, copper. Copper mica powder. Okay. And here's my topper. Move all this out of the way. And instead of um, blowing it by mouth, I'm going to um, use my little compressor gun here.
I'm just going to let that sit a minute. I also then make up a different color topper. Um, again, three parts Floetrol to um, one part paint. And I use the, let's see here if I can find it. Yes, I use the Artist Loft Metallic Blue. So I, I thought I might give that a try too as a topper. Just giving it a few minutes here to let the paint come back up. Again, this is a trial for me. I haven't done a lot of blooms, but thought I'd give it a try. So let's give it a spin here. I did put down a silicone mat to hold my tile in place. I'm not sure how the silicone mat would work with a canvas, but I, I will give that a try in the future. Center here. I'm going to give another spin. Okay, not looking too bad. I think what I'll do is I'm going to give it a little blow by myself here. Okay, and I'm going to give it another spin. And let's give it another one. happy with that. I do have negative space, but that's fine with me. I kind of like that. Just cleaning off the corners here a little bit. And there's that one. Hope you can see it real well. Put that to the side here. And now I'll do the second one. And I will put down my base coat. And now I'll put the paints down. Let's see, this time I'll start with the, the copper on the bottom. And I'll go with the turquoise blue.
and Conacridone Magenta. I'm going to put this pearl blue down from Marteza. Okay, and this time I'm going to put both of the toppers down that I that I've made. This is the Artist Loft metallic blue. And this is the Amsterdam White. I do have some bubbles here that I will pop before we get to spinning. Okay. Move everything out of the way. Give it a, oh, I'm sorry. I got... I have to uh, first let's give it a little blow here with my compressor to do things in order here. Trying to get that topper to go right over, go down and then over the other paints. Okay, and I'll let that sit a minute. Just let that paint come back up again. And I can pop some few bubbles I see here. You don't want a torch when you do the bloom technique because you could burn your paint very easily, the house paint, the base coat. I think they call it the pillow that when it first came out, it was called the pillow. Okay. Looks really nice in here. So let's give it a in here, see what we get. Spin again. I'm hoping to get a little better the more I do these. Do like this color combination. It's very very, very vivid colors here. Very, very pretty. I'm gonna give it another spin. turned out very nice. I'm just going to blow it by myself in just a few little areas here. I'm 
and give it another spin. Okay, let's see what we have here. Very nice. Very, I'm very happy with this. Very pretty. And I will. I will give you a close up. It turned out very, very pretty. Okay. Let me know what you think. I'll put them both down here so you can take a look. And I will bring you in for a real close up. Okay, let's look at the first one here. Give you a close up of that. I think that turned out very nice. You can see that copper, so pretty in there. Got some lacing. That's the first ceramic tile I did. And here's the second, the one I just finished. Again, there's the copper and the magenta. And there's that dark blue that I did use also as a topper in there, magenta. So let me know what you think. Give me a thumbs up if you like this video. Share. Subscribe if you haven't. Make sure you ring the bell and choose all so you'll know the next time that I do post a new video. And until next time, take care, everybody. Bye.